Hi everybody, it's Matt here with GetiPadLessons.com and in this video I want to show you some steps on how you can save battery on your iPad so that it doesn't deplete so fast and it's very easy to do. First of all, if you go down to your home screen down at the bottom, the button here, you double click and your multitasking bar will come up on the bottom which you can slide to the right or left. Firstly, if you're not familiar with this area of your iPad, you can adjust your audio right here if you're listening to Pandora or YouTube or whatever you're listening to. You can alter it there, play it, forward it, rewind it, and also you can adjust your screen brightness on that as well. And this will lock your screen so that it doesn't go into landscape mode. Um, or if you want to keep it in landscape mode, you would click on that. So that's that for multitasking. Now, all of these icons that are on that you see down here are running in the background on your iPad that you may not be aware of. If you open up an app and then you click your home button and go out of that app, that app is still running in the background and still requires more power from your pad even though you're not using it. So the way to get those off is by clicking and minimalizing. Minimalizing, minimalizing, getting these off your multitasking bar so that you can save some energy on your, some battery life on your iPad. Now another thing to do is go into your settings and if you go into your notifications, I have mine turned off, but most people keep these on if you want certain things to disable sounds, alerts, uh, things like that, you can you can elect to turn this off, which I do, which can save battery power. Location services, the same thing. When your iPad will send you a message with permission as to the location of your iPad wherever you are, um, most often people want to have that availability. I could care less for most things. I don't need my iPad to know where I am so you can click that off to save some energy and the mail is another thing if you want to fetch new data you can elect to turn this off in your email and then you'll manually have to go in to your email and as, a, as opposed to it pushing to you or automatically being sent to you every every a couple of minutes so those are some very quick ways just by going into your multitasking window by double clicking and going down and exiting out of all these apps that will save some some of your battery life and going into your settings and turning off your notifications your location services and your push mail and turning that off so those are some quick tips and hopefully you will find it helpful check back for more videos thanks guys Please go to GetIPadLessons.com now.